Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? It's Matt, and it is Maniac Monday. First and foremost, I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic weekend. Hopefully, you did something fun, maybe watched a few good movies. If so, you know, always I'm always open to hear what you've watched, and if you want to talk about them, you know, that all that jazz. For my friends over on the Facebook and over on the YouTube, over there, I do, I would like you to uh, like, share, and subscribe. I know I don't, I ask that sometimes, and I forget sometimes, and you don't have to if you don't want to, which is okay with me. Um, I will be doing uh, a movie from 1986 today starring Tawny Katane, Todd Allen, Stephen Nichols, Kathleen Wilholt, Burke Burns, and Rosemary, directed by none other, none other than Kevin S. Tenney of of uh, Night of the Demons one or Night of the Demons, which board one and two. Uh, uh, Pinocchio's Revenge, you know, he's done a few good ones. There was one called Peacemaker, I believe, on there. A few others that I, I, I don't remember of of his uh, um, filmography, you know. I, I do have Night of, or The Night of the Demons, both the Witchboard movies, and Pinocchio's Revenge. I, I remember, the, that's why I remember those three most. Um, uh, um, and now, as far as, or as far they're foremost that's four of them there yeah and like i i showed here Witchboard, and this is the uh scream factory uh double disc dvd blu-ray combo combo um which always makes me happy because sometimes i watch movies downstairs and i only have a dvd player down there currently um as far as uh reversible artwork there is no reversal reversible artwork there's just picture of Mal Fader and Tawny Katane, the back of Tawny Katane's head there, which, um, if any of you know T Con Tawny Katane, uh, what sh she did this, and what she's best known for is doing the White Snake, White Snake, uh, music videos back in, back in the 80s, um, and she's, and she was married to the lead singer of them called, his name was David Coverdale, um, she was eventually arrested for beating him uh they got a divorce she married another guy i can't remember his name it was like chuck something um professional baseball player won over 200 baseball games uh i think i was kind of looking at his stats a little bit the guy was a legit player he was was an all-star i feel like he uh uh won't may go into the hall of fame but later but what uh why i bring him up is she later again, while she's married to him, assaults him over and over and over and over again. So she is a uh, a fiery one. She is known for for beating people up if you're in a relationship with her. <laughs> um, now, as far as what this one is about, uh, basically what happens is um, uh, Todd Allen and Tawny Katane's characters, or not Todd Allen, Stephen Nich Nichols, um, which they, by the way, did a, I think they did a couple of episodes, one or, I don't remember how many exactly, on the daytime series Days of Our Lives, the, the long forever running series that seems like it never ends, you know. Um, now, um, okay, so their characters, they used to be former lovers, her current um, boyfriend is Todd Allen. They're throwing her and Todd are th um, throwing a party. Uh, when the the very arrogant um, uh, uh, Stephen show Stephen Nichols shows up, he is very um, like I said, arrogant, very very conniving, not conniving, but condescending. That's what I mean. He's very condescending. Uh, talks down upon upon whoever is is uh he feel is below him he's he's kind of a dick really uh in the beginning of this movie but he does grow to be an actually a nice guy and blah 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 him and the uh current boyfriend actually were best friends growing up and and uh, they had an out outing because um uh, the the current boyfriend's uh, a alcoholic, and his entire family was alcoholics, and that was 
the reasoning why they became friends is because he wanted to get away from it and and have a place to go where he was safe. And so they became friends, blah, 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 blah. blah. They went to his house. Um, then lo and behold, the guy goes and, and does exactly what his parents did and became an alcoholic. Um, it's a very strong, or very, uh, very, uh, strong sickness yeah it's strong it's um it's a very tough one it's one that um i even suffered from for for myself for for years and years and years uh i finally got that under control um uh which that's another story here or there but so they the these two guys um the one the one that's kind of a dick who's rocking a pretty sweet mullet he um uh oh darn it uh, he uh, um, brings a Ouija board with him, which uh, Tony Katane's character is just obsessed with the Ouija board. As a matter of fact, she even steals the Ouija board from him and thinks she's contacting a spirit named David, who is a 10-year-old boy. Um, <clears throat> now, you go on to find out it's not. It's a, uh, a benevolent spirit named Malfader who who killed his, I want to say it was his family or something like that. He went crazy and killed a bunch of people. Um, so his spirit was um, inside the uh, the this um, Ouija board as well, um, which causes all kinds of crazy ruckus. Got some crazy cool kills that are like almost, they're very... Um, uh, uh, invisible killer. Like I don't know what to really say. Like it, you, there's nobody to to see to kill. It's all done by by the uh, malevolent force of Malfader. Like as a matter of fact, there's a kill um, pretty early on where a guy gets smacked smashed in the face with an axe, uh, an axe hammer. Um, very very uh, uh, brutal. Or no, that's later on. Uh, a guy gets smashed with um, a bunch of sheetrock, like like hundreds of pounds. It's pretty, it's pretty raw when it gets in there. It's uh, it definitely does the job, and it will make you uh, either cringe or jump. <laughs> All right. So now um, I'm not going to give any anything else away on the story for this one. Um, I do suggest checking it out. Witchboard 2 is okay. There is a third one, which I have never seen. Um, I've heard uh, uh, a lot of bad negative reviews on that one, so I'm going to probably steer clear from that for a while. Uh, now, as far as any kind of ratings, whoops, any kind of ratings I would give this one, uh, the technical side, there it's pretty crisp for the most part. There are some uh, flaws here and there, giant plot holes. Um, that's horror films in general. A lot of films are just have giant plot holes like this. Uh, uh, so I'm going to give it a three. It's nothing that, that will affect the movie to make you um, not want to see it. Uh, now, as far as what I would rate it on an entertainment scale... It's a fluctuation between a, between a three and a four. I feel this is a good party movie. Uh, maybe even use a Ouija board af before or after watching it with your friends. Um, this is it's it's more it's definitely a party movie. Uh, I do suggest it. Um, I give it two thumbs up. Um, that fly keeps flying around here it's driving me friggin bonkers man oh my goodness like every time i turn around it's rolling down in front of the camera hey 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 hey, hey. All, right. <laughs> all right guys i love all your faces i'm gonna go ahead and get out get the hell out of here i hope you have a great morning evening dawn day or dusk whenever it is you're watching this i hope you're having a great time uh, I, like I said, I hope you like, share, subscribe. If, if not, it's all good. And always guys, peace.